We're here at the Callaway Fitting Studio at the PGA Tour Superstore, standing alongside of an absolute legend in Roger Cleveland. He's been with Callaway for almost 25 years, and you can see this floor of wedges that I'm holding in my hand are the product of his latest design, these Jaws wedges. With Roger, these Jaws wedges, they're, they're a combination of technology and, I would say, artistry. Absolutely, with technology in the groove, and the groove is what we uh, really enhance besides the feel of this wedge. And we, uh, in our R&D department, we constantly, we never put down the pencil. But the groove, <laughs> with the groove here, we, we have the tightest edge radius, and edge radius is spin. Spin is control, trajectory control. And if you see, we have micros, four micros between each groove, okay? Plus this special groove with a, a sidewall that creates an edge radius that spins like no other. Right to the edge of it. Absolutely. All right, I want to talk to you about something that I think a lot of people don't understand or maybe they even misunderstand, and that's about bounce yes. and how bounce plays into loft and it, all the different grind options that you have. I mean, let me ask you, tour players, do tour players even understand bounce? Not a lot of them. Okay, and, and they, some, some just don't want to know. They, it gets complicated, okay? And so we don't go there, but some do. But all the players play, and it's really misunderstood by the world, is how much bounce they actually use, okay? And they use anywhere from 10 to 13 degrees of bounce on their most highest loft, which is typically a 60, some 58, some a little bit more. Interesting. Okay, and so there's two things. Bounce is the angle with the shaft of 90 degrees where the trailing edge is lower than the leading edge. So that's your skid plate. Okay. okay? You want to, on that 40 or 50 yard shot, you want to be using that, not the leading edge. Leading edge is not your friend. Okay? You want to be uh, uh, contacting the, the ground before the ball and letting that slide through so you can control trajectory without being steep. If you're steep, you're taking bounce away. You don't want to be steep. You want to have high shots or low shots or whatever you want to do. So we have different grinds here. Okay. And the grinds are, are based upon your technique and the conditions that you play in. Okay, if you're, if you're, so we have a fitting system. So we have a 12, 10, and eight in the jaws, okay? So if you're steep and you have a lot of set or wrist cock in your 40 or 50 yard shot, you take a divot. So you need something with a 12, okay? And this is a wide, it's like a mini sure out. Yeah. Okay, this actually does have 12 degrees of bounce, but it's wide. Yep. Okay, so um, this is this is played where where you have a straight leading, uh, straight face. If you wanna, if you're steep and you have, um, want to open the face, we have the X, which has a C grind, which is relief in the heel, oh, so wow, you can open that. that. So when you open up, you add add bounce, add loft. Just but show that to camera, just hold that that way okay. for a second, right So there. we have relief here, so you can keep the leading edge under the ball, critical. You don't want to, you know, you've got to have it under the ball. So we have a lot of options. And then if you're shallow, so you have uh, less set, so you come in, you don't take a divot, okay? We have, we have three options. One, the S if you don't want to open it up, and two others if you do want it to open it up. We have the C grind, which is relief, and this, the, this one, which is new to the line, which is the 8W, has less bounce, very narrow heel, a very technical wedge, and an amazing wedge. Now, I have to ask you before we move on, that we yeah. were talking about some players know about it and some don't. I have to imagine when you're working with Phil Mickelson, not only does he know about it, he wants to know everything about it. Well, he yes, for sure. All the answers, all, yes, to all of them. He is aggressive. And so he uses a lot of bounce. We actually, on the second generation PM wedge, which still is in the line, we have not taken that beauty out, okay? I call it a beauty. And, and, uh, but it's fairly wide, okay? It has bounce. We actually added one degree of bounce on the new version. And that, that people will go, what? And people love that wedge. When you're dealing with somebody like Phil, can he feel that one degree? Is he one of those that has that much touch? Yes, absolutely. I have been with some, some players over the course of the years. David Graham was one, amazing. He could feel things and Phil is that way, amazing. Why did you smile in such a way that it's kind of a, a pain in the neck sometimes? Well, he's, he's, uh, he works you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's really fun. I, I love I don't get a chance to work with him as much as I'd love like to, 
um, but he's he's a kick to play uh, be with. All right, so before we part company with you today, yep. I did want to ask you about people understanding what bounce might be right for them. Is there a divot pattern that they can look at in their own game that might help guide them? Well, that again, that 40, 50 yard shot, if you take a look at that and you make a divot, you're steep. Okay, you have, and that's fine. I, I prefer not to be steep. And, and this area, the wedge play, is an area where everybody can improve if they take some lessons and get some good equipment. So if, but if you do have a lot of set, which is not the ideal situation, because when you have a lot of set, you actually have to slow down your body rotation to get the club down to the ground. When yeah. you have less set, you can actually have more speed and more control. All right, so that's just but, one way that you can look at it. You, were, you had mentioned whether soft or hard conditions that you're right. playing so in as well. Right, so if they're softer, you need a little bit more bounce. You gotta go to a, either the 12 wide or the 12X, okay? If it's firm conditions, you gotta go to the eight, which is the C grind or the W, new W. So there are a lot of options. Now, if, if you're getting the message that Roger's sending, it's not only knowing your game and then understanding the options that are available to you, and you can find out that online, go to Callaway's site, what have you, but also the importance of getting fit for the wedge and the importance of making sure you have wedges that have some bite left in the groove. Absolutely. And we have, we have a, a board here at the Superstore that de details all the different grinds and what, what type of technique that you have. All right, so that's at the PGA Tour Superstore. When you come in, you can see all the different options that are available to ensure that the option that you choose is the perfect one for your game.